Protect yourself, most importantly. Any questions over here? Over here, touch them up, good guys. Let's go. The Ready final over. instructions by referee Dave Johnson, and here's how they stack up. Well, you know, you can see that uh, they call him the tank. He's a short heavyweight. Carries at 258 pounds better than you could ever imagine. The reach advantage goes to Holyfield, obviously. Holyfield will fight a little more from the outside, but he likes to get inside as well. The real deal has on the red trunks, and Sherman Williams, he has on the white with a Bahamian color of turquoise and black. Obviously, Sherman Williams, not as well known to most of you as Evander Holyfield. Benny and I have done his fights before. He has a very sneaky overhand right. He takes a terrific punch, and he is very willing in that. All you got to do is take a look at that head, and you know that is a battering ram that is going to take a great amount of punishment before you can drop this man. And he also has a great left hook, but that is also the punch that Evander Real Real Holyfield also can throw with great, great effectiveness. Yeah, I don't think Sherman Williams wants to trade left hooks with Holyfield. Holyfield, I mentioned at the top of the show, he can now throw that left hook. Uh, on, guys, his shoulder, he took yeah, off almost great. two years on, and guys. healed his shoulder good. injury, and in the last seven fights, he has used that left hook much more effectively. And those are the years of 2002, 3, and 4. Losses to Larry Donald, James Tony, and Chris Bird, which he blamed on that left shoulder injury. Now, holy for weight of 224. Down, That's the heaviest he's ever been in his career. Stop, he applied that. He weighed 221 against hey, 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 John Marie, stop, and that stop, was the heaviest punch. he had ever, ever been. Don't punch, I'll tell you to stop. If you don't punch, I'll tell you to stop. Let's go Already punch. a clash of heads, and on top of that, a debate uh, between uh, the referee and uh, Sherman Williams. Well, Lennox Lewis warned us about that punch, right? Yeah. The third punch. The head of Vander Holyfield. Dave Johnson uh, lecturing uh, Williams about uh, hitting after the break. You see Sherman trying to go ahead and open himself up for that overhand right. That's his bread and butter punch. Williams uh, fighting much more passively here in round one than we might have anticipated. And Holyfield, who is by nature a counter puncher, actually kind of pressing the action a little bit more. Right, 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 right. He did his fight against Fredzo Kendo, and I remember he dropped Fredzo Kendo with a left hook in the first round. Surprising. But the thing you always got to take into account here, Al, is when you're 48 years old, and again, punching out of the break, and that's setting the trend right here. And Williams was very angry about, he thinks Holyfield's using his head. And he wrapped him with a left hook. So Sherman Williams showing us one thing. He didn't come here to not win this fight. He's going to try as hard as he can. He'll do whatever he can. And there's the hook you talked about with Williams. I said he didn't want to trade left hooks with Holyfield. I could be wrong. Holyfield himself trying to land that on, left hook right there up close. All right, stop, stop. Let me have it. Let Again, at 48, what the mind wants to do, what the body's able to do is not necessarily connected. Final seconds of round number one. Holyfield and Williams are main event. There's that overhand right, right at the end of the round by Williams. Now that is a tough round to score. I know. Put, put those shots together, folks. But if I have to pick, I'm going to go at 10-9, and I'm going to go with Sherman Williams. Actually, he looks like he wants to stop yeah. You follow what I'm saying? Yeah. Keep them hands high. Okay. Some more water. I know. Just keep showing in the jail. Mm -hmm. All right? This round two coming up. I feel yeah. Great. Not yet, not yet. You got time. I'm sorry. Tommy Brooks right there in the corner. Yeah, that was Tommy, one of the fine trainers in boxing. And here is where Williams mad about the head of Holyfield. And he says, here, I'll hit you with the left hook. And there's no question the heads were banging together there. And Williams okay, now we're giving going. the legend of Vander Holyfield a piece of his mind. So he's not intimidated. A piece of, his, piece of his mind through a leather glove, that was. Yeah. Round number two of a scheduled 12 rounder on main event of the evening, Evander, the real Holyfield in the red trunks, Sherman, the Tank Williams in the white trunks. Here's the jab of Holyfield, often an underused weapon for him all through his storied career. He's got a good one. And that's something he said he felt so comfortable with Tommy Brooks. He said, Tommy Brooks knows me so well. He knows when I'm not bending my knees, doing the things I need to do. So he's able to correct me right then and there. Left hook right there by Sherman. Right, stop, 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 stop. Let me have, let me have. Come on, guys. Come on, let's go. Come on, 
Parker thought that was a low shot. Going to the body is Sherman Williams. And that's an interesting wild card for Williams. You know, against the 48-year-old, you would want to work that body. Early in the fight when both have fought Holyfield, he did work the body very well. But ironically, it was Holyfield who uh, came back and knocked him out in the uh, mid to late rounds. 5'11", that's a good spot for him to go ahead and shoot is that body area. It's right there, almost eye level for him. Vander always has that great body, looks to be in great, great shape. We'll see. And one thing you would want to do is press him enough so that if you get that fight to the later rounds, you've, you've made him work hard enough. In his fight with uh, Nikolai Valuev, uh, Valuev didn't really pressure Holyfield. In fact, did almost nothing in that fight, and so Holyfield was able to fight at his pace and land good punches. Big left hook and a right hand by Holyfield. Stop, and in that stop, fight stop. with Valuev, that was scored 112, 116, 114, 115 in the, the other one. So it's one of those things that were very, very close in that particular fight. Could have gone either way. Yeah, I, I thought Holyfield won it. Holy, uh, uh, Valuev did almost nothing, but uh, at least, it, but it, that was one of the things that if you talk about Holyfield, you want to say he's viable on some level in the heavyweight division. That's the fight you, you point to. John David Jackson has been working hard with Sherman Williams on his boxing. There's that left hook really loaded up right there by Sherman Williams. And I think equally as important was the overhand right of Williams that just barely missed. He's come very close with that punch a couple of times. There's the combination punch with Holyfield. You know, at 48, and Lennox Lewis made the point, and so did Larry Holmes, it's really shocking to see somebody throw combinations at 48. People just don't do it. So technically sound is Evander Holyfield as a boxer. So now at the age of 48, trying to draw that out of his body, see if he has enough for one more. The final seconds of round number two, Holyfield and Williams. Good round for Williams, but he better stop hitting after the break. He's going to get a point deducted. Good, I might be okay. going to but I'm not sure. Deep breath. How you feel, man? Keep doing what you're doing. Get close. The body shots are winning. This guy, he's fighting over. He's fighting over. Okay? Keep doing what you got to do. Stay in the body. Every time you turn our right hand, come by that left hook. Body hand. Evander Holyfield throwing combinations. They just didn't quite get there. You see four punches, five punches missing. So while we credit him for being able to throw combinations at this age, they didn't get there. But now Sherman Williams had a huge second part of the round. Now here's an important moment. He's being broken, but you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to speak out on behalf of Williams. At the time, I thought maybe he threw the punch on the break. He did not. He threw it before the break. Those are important moments at the end of that round. And let's see what that took out of Evander Holyfield, if anything. Clock, Wait, they're, they're the now they're going to hold the clock. You ready? Let's get everything cleared up. Get out of here with the, with the water. Hey, Johnson signaling for them to hold the clock. That was interesting. Yeah. Gave a little extra time. Okay, and we are ready. This is round number three of a scheduled 12 rounder. Our main event Redemption in America. Evander, the real deal. Holyfield, Sherman Tank Williams. And for Sherman Tank Williams in the right trust, John David Jackson telling him he's fighting old as far as Holyfield. So attack the body. I think if Sherman Williams, when he was in training and put his head down to sleep at night and visualized this fight, I think he's okay with the way these first two rounds went. Now, a reminder, though, both had two or three really good rounds early in the fight, but he still got knocked out by uh, Holyfield. See the cut below the left eye of Andrew Holyfield? Yeah. Holyfield now there trying to put pressure on Williams. Stop, 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 stop. Come on, put hold him. Put hold him. Let's go. Put hold him. Trying to get a closer look at that eye, see if it's a ball, but I think it is off to the side below the yeah. eye. Might have come from that right hand. It is, yeah, and there is significant blood, but it is under the eye. <laughs> that overhand right in this by about a foot, but it's the fact that he's throwing it. And now Dave Wood Johnson warning Sherman Williams. So 
Sherman has a target now, that left eye of Evander Holyfield. Good body work inside by Williams. And there's that right hand. Right on the left eye. That's cut of Holyfield. Come Sherman Williams. Williams is not a monstrous knockout puncher, but that is a sneaky, powerful right hand. And he's luring Holyfield, and he wants to throw that right hand as a counterplay. And he lands it. Right on the head of Holyfield goes that overhand right by Williams. Holyfield does not by nature like to attack like this. Hey, Brett, he would Brett, rather come on, come on, let's go, come on. And again, Brett part of the plan that John go. David Jackson has come up for Sherman Williams, although he did ask him to attack the body more. It's been a good third round for Sherman Williams. Hey, stop, stop, stop. Come on, guys, let's go. Keep your hands free. Let's go. And the sheer volume of punches from Williams is more than Holyfield's throwing, so that's... A big plus for him in terms of the winning fight. Oh my, he knocked he, Holyfield sideways. That was it. He went to the body, mixed it up, started with the head, and then went to the body and locked Evander Holyfield. Evander waiting and waiting, and now he, it, Sherman Williams has gotten Evander's attention with that overhand right. I should think so. And that body work, which was very significant. Come on. Go, come on. Holyfield not rushing in to get after Williams. Williams doesn't want to attack him. He wants to make Holyfield come to him. Being very patient is Sherman Williams. Good right hand again. Rock Holyfield in the final seconds of round number three. A great round right there for Sherman Williams. Good boy, good boy, get him out. Yeah, getting in his eye. Go ahead, go ahead. Shoot. I'm gonna say he's taking a chance with wild guy. That boy, hey, look, time. look, look, look. I know you guys are both banging heads, no, but we... you're banging him on the back too, the blood, you gotta cut that out now. The blood, you the blood, you got Huh? The blood, you got it. I can't see this thing. Here is the point at which Evander Holyfield was rocked the first time with body do. punches and overhand right to the head. It? We've only went three rounds. If you want to go on with it, tell me now. And as he continues this assault, we overheard Tommy Brooks asking Holyfield why, if he wants to go on. There's no question Evander Holyfield, I think, is in some danger in that corner. They're going to talk to him right now. He wants. To, he says he can't see out of the left eye. Now, this is uh, he didn't quit. Oh, oh, he didn't quit. He didn't quit. blood in his eye. That's right. You got, you got either no contest or technical right, yeah. draw. Fight is over. Fight is over. Fight is blood in his eye. Elbow. Blood in his eye. Dave Johnson stopping the fight. They are lobbying in that corner for a technical draw, but we did not hear whether that came from a clash of heads. And, and in all truth, that cut is not profusely bleeding right into his eye. Now we'll but see he what was happens. saying that the blood was getting in his eye and he wasn't able to see. Well, Those are the words of Evander Holyfield. That's what he said, and we'll find out if, in fact, this came from a clash of heads. We did not get word on that. If it did, it would be a technical draw. God bless you. We believe that at the end of round two is where the cut took place. That is, they bang heads, and there is where the cut. There's no question that that came from a clash of heads, or it appears obvious. And uh, if that is true, and if that is the case, and the fight was stopped because of that, this should be a 
this probably will be a no decision. And for Sherman Williams, who had more than his share of good moments in this fight, that look on his face may be one that we see after the fight. And our, we believe it's going to be a no contest, which will be an unsatisfying ending to this fight for that man and really for everybody. You need to throw away the Holyfield jacket. Bahamas is number one, baby. We beat him, cut him with the Kung Punch. The overhand right, did the damage once again. Now let's see what they're gonna do to me in Virginia. Thank God I'm back, a year off. Could barely walk last January. God has brought me back and restored me 110%. All praise is the job. Well, good commentary from Sherman Williams. That is his spin on this. We, it appears to us that the clash of heads caused the cut. He landed plenty of right hands, that's for sure. And to tell us exactly what will take place, let's go to Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout has been stopped at the end of round number three. Evander Holyfield unable to continue due to blood in his eye based on an accidental cut which occurred in round number two. Therefore, this bout will be scheduled and called an no contest due to it not going the necessary four rounds. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a no contest. Sherman Williams clearly distressed. I gotta get some scissors somewhere. Man, there was arterial blood pumping out. I thought he was going to go off. All the way, that's yeah. deep there. That's the bone. Yeah. Where do you want to do it? Here, let me get a picture real quick. Hurry up, Tim.